my channel if you're new i'm amanda kate today i'm going to be going through my jewelry collection so this is actually a video that someone requested so thank you so much for the suggestion if you guys have any other video suggestions please leave them in the comments section i'm always happy to hear what you guys want me to film because you guys are the ones watching my videos so without further ado let's get into the jewelry collection i have so much jewelry and i didn't like organize any of it it's just kind of like everywhere so i'm gonna kind of try to go through this and make it a reasonable length of video because it'll probably be super long um but i'm trying to condense this for you guys so i don't even know where to start i have a, such a like mix of random things so some of these are expensive some of these are cheap some of them are um gifted to me some of them are sentimental <laughs> so i will find some of these that i have never worn or no longer wear and add them to my Poshmark. So if you guys are interested in buying some of my old or new old, so like never worn um, items, whether that be jewelry or purses or sunglasses or clothing, it is all on my Poshmark. So I will add some of these on there. So if you're interested, it is the princess. I will link it down below as well. So let's get into this video. So let's start off with my necklace holder. This is like kind of like a pink velvety material and I got this at Michael's Crafts. So there are some pink ones, there's some white ones, some black ones, but of course this just stood out to me because I love pink. So we will get started and add every chain onto this. So I'm gonna start off with my most sentimental piece, which I actually just received recently. So this is my grandmother's fingerprint, if you guys know um, a few of my videos that I've posted my grandmother did pass away in June of this year and so she had arranged before she passed away to um, put her fingerprint on a necklace for me so this is actually her doing and then of course we just added the date so it says grandmama and her date of birth and date of death so this is her fingerprint so this is obviously super super sentimental to me very emotional to even hold that so I don't wear it very often because it just I'm so scared of like something happening to it but it is definitely my most sentimental and then the next ones are in no particular order so I'm just gonna go in whatever I see first so this is a Michael Kors necklace and then on the other side it is reversible it just says MK so this one is a nice kind of like a mix between gold and rose gold so super pretty super flattering this is another michael kors necklace i wear very often so it is gold it says michael kors it has little diamonds and it's also reversible and the other side doesn't have any diamonds it just says michael kors i usually like to wear it on this side but it does flip which is very annoying when it flips when it's around my neck so there's that one this is one from fashion nova i just did a huge fashion nova haul so this was one of the chains this was another one of the chains from Fashion Nova. So it's kind of like a Cuban link chain. Um, very flashy. And then it is basically reversible. And then it's silver. So that was another one. And I just love how this looks on this little mannequin. This was another Fashion Nova chain. So just a gold chain. This is another Michael Kors chain that I wear so often. So I got this as a gift a few Christmases ago. So it is super, super flattering, super pretty. And it has little diamonds all around it. So that is what it looks like. And it's not reversible, just as Michael Kors at the bottom. These two came in a package together. I wanna say from Claire's, these are pretty cheap. And um, yeah, super flattering they look very dainty and delicate so they are very cute and you don't have to wear them both at the same time but i usually do just because i feel like they complement each other really well and then i have my crown one i have worn this in a few videos so this was a gift to me as well and it's just very i don't know it's very fitting <laughs> for brunette princess then i have this one which was also very cheap i want to say 
Ardennes or Claire's. It's just a bunch of little diamonds. It's like a diamond choker. I have worn this a few times. I've actually worn this to a wedding. So I just feel like it complements uh, diamond jewelry very well. This one, I'm not sure where I got. It is a rose gold piece. So it's on a very small chain and it's super delicate looking. Um, I want to say it was a gift, but I can't remember. So I don't wear it often, but I should really start because it is beautiful. This one was a gift from my mom. It says my name, and Kate, and I can't remember where this is from, but it's pretty popular on Instagram. So if you just look, look up necklace with name or name necklace, it should come up. I think the company is literally called Name Necklace. So that is just what it looks like, and it's gold. And yeah, I find it super pretty, obviously very personal. This one is one from my mom. So we always say when there's two of something, it's me and her because growing up it was just me and her. So these are two little hearts. So a gold one and a silver one with diamonds. So that is obviously very sentimental as well. So I just found this in my pile. This is like an OCD nightmare. <laughs> so I won't go through these today, but a lot of these will be on my Poshmark. So I don't even know what is in here, but I have had these for a while and obviously I have not worn them. So these will definitely pop up <laughs> on that Poshmark. So check it out if you are interested. Now the next little thing is this holder. I can't remember where I got it, but I find it super cute. And I just put some rings in here. These are not all the rings I have. I also have these guys, but these will probably end up on Poshmark as well. So let's just go through them quickly. So I have this one that is a double finger ring from Michael Kors. So one has diamonds and one is just a big gold loop. And then I have these little guys. These are all very, very cheap, um, but I find that they look very nice. Some of these are from Charmed Aroma. So those candles that have jewelry inside and some of these are from Ardenne or from Claire's. So I just buy like the little sets that you can put on various fingers at once. So sometimes they fit only for like this finger, like this area and these ones. So some of them fit different places. So I just buy the set and kind of collect <laughs> all the little ones. So some of these will be on Poshmark. So next I have all of my hoop earrings. So these are all very cheap. These are my large hoop earrings. I have always been obsessed with hoop earrings. As soon as they came out, back in the day, I was rocking them. I have always, always loved them. So I just get a bunch like in a bundle from either Claire's or Ardennes or Urban Planet, wherever I can find them. And then I just kind of circle through them because they do kind of fade over time. These are my medium sized hoop earrings. So. Of course, some of them are kind of ratchet looking, so I will go through these later. These are my different ones. So these are guest ones. I do have another one, but I did break it, so there's that. And then this, I really like. It's kind of cool to have a square pair of hoop earrings. These are also super cute. They're rose gold. These I've had for a long time, and I've never worn them, I don't think. I've worn them like once maybe, so these will definitely go on Poshmark. This is a series of bracelets I have. So the very, very well-loved Pandora bracelet. So this, I have an entire video on it. If you want to see every charm and the story behind it, check it out. This is a, another type of charm bracelet that I got as a gift. So I don't wear that that often because there's like too many colors for me. Usually I only wear like black. <laughs> so I have to start wearing that. This is a rose gold bracelet from Michael Kors. I wear this very often. This is another charm bracelet. I think I got this at some kind of communion or something because there is a cross on it, but I was little, so I'm not too sure. This is a bracelet from Aldo with the Italian hot pepper. <laughs> um, so that'll probably be on Poshmark. This is a super special bracelet my mom got me. So it says, Je t'aime plus que plus, exo, with a heart. So that is our little sentence to each other. I love you more than more. I don't know if it really makes sense in um, English, but that is what we say to each other. So that is super special. And then I have these two Alex and Annie bracelets of the Big and Little Dipper. 
so my mom got me these as a gift and um it was like one for me one for her but i am wearing both because then we're together <laughs> and this is a bracelet from ashley bridget so it's a company that makes bracelets with hair elastics in it so it's very cute if you wear it just like that and then it comes with a spare elastic so you always have one on your wrist so i thought that was very cool now in here i just have a mix of different things so these are my body jewelry so this is my librette so for my lip these are some extra nose rings then these are all body jewelry so a lot of tongue rings i have some belly button rings just kind of like a mix of everything and then i have these and then these are my like fancy earrings so my little fancy ones so i have my coco chanel's i have uh other cocos here these are so hard to grab with my nails um these have like a diamond missing so then i have some mk ones I just have kind of like a mix. These are some Kate Spade. It's like ASMR. <laughs> I have some rose gold Kate Spade bows. I just kind of have a mix of everything. And of course, some little cheap diamonds just mixed in. And then these are actually um, all ones that my mom made. So she is like super crafty and she makes a lot of things homemade. So throughout the year, she's made me different earrings. So some of them are very cool actually so like these for example these are custom made then there's this one with a music note um because i was taking singing lessons and then there's these guys here i had a pink outfit that matched these i got because i was a cop for halloween a few years ago and she made me these with handcuffs so i don't know let me know what you guys think of these homemade ones she might open up an etsy store she makes everything she can knit she can sew she can crochet she can make jewelry she is literally a woman of all trades and then in this little box this is just the naked three um box where i got the brushes so i just have a mix literally like all kinds of little jewelry that i got either from when i was little like these ones which are like real gold um so i got these when i was little these are also real gold and some are like very sentimental so these are just literally a mix of cheap and expensive these ones i don't know if you guys remember this trend <laughs> back in the day with the little flowers um these ones so i don't know just like a mix of little random and then I got this as well. I'm not even sure what this is. Ooh. Okay, so these are rose gold earrings from a company called Buckley. So there they are. Very nice. It's like a half hoop. So very classy. Obviously, never worn these. And I almost forgot to show you guys the one on my finger. So this is my birthstone. So it's granite for January. Hi. <laughs> this is my baby ring. I got it when I was born. Obviously, we got it stretched out throughout the years um but yeah i wear this all the time i never ever take it off it's real gold real granite and yeah it's just always on my right hand so thank you guys so much for watching this video definitely leave a like if you enjoyed it comment below whatever you want to comment don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you never miss a video i am also doing a 2000 subscriber giveaway so as soon as we get there i will give something away maybe some jewelry i'm not sure let me know what you would like me to give away and as usual my socials are linked down below my instagram is at brunette princess and if you want to save money or make money while shopping check out my discount codes they're all in my description and as always i love you and i'll see you in my next video bye guys